Back it is almost time to celebrate Van's best friend with Puppy Day. We couldn't wait, so we just made today Puppy Day. <laughs> On Facebook, we asked you to share photos of your furry loved ones ahead of National Puppy Day tomorrow, and you all delivered. People love to share photos of your pets. So check out some of those adorable pups. Thanks for sending them in. <laughs> I love the vocal ones. I have such a vocal dog. So I'm like, Stella, stop barking. Oh, wait, that's not her. She's not here. Oh, cute. Well, National Puppy Day is an excuse to show off our four-legged friends. It's also meant to raise awareness of the importance of pet adoption. And this morning, we're joined by Asher Davis from Restart Rescue. Also joined by some adorable pups. We, can we will them. show them, don't worry. <laughs> we can squid over there. Oh, there they are. Adder, tell us uh, who we have with us here today. Yeah, we have so the little uh, black one over there with the purple bandana. Uh, we have Max, and then the white one is, <laughs> there's Max, and then Miller <laughs> is the white one. Oh, oh, cute. And then the other one is actually, she has an adoption application in, but we don't know for sure. So we are hoping that she will get adopted, but uh, we will we'll find out. Well, so what we have, and these are just three of many, many puppies on our website many that we have. Many puppies. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it is National Puppy Day Awareness, but it's more about the importance of adoption. Yeah. So talk to us a little bit about what it's like to not only run one of these organizations, but how many puppies you have constantly in your care that you're taking care of. It's crazy. I mean, at any point in time, just in the rescue, we have around 450 animals available for adoption Whoa. and coming in, going out um, on a monthly basis. And so right now, it's puppy kitten season, springtime. It's coming up. And so we're preparing. Um, we're needing fosters. We're needing adopters because all of a sudden it will be in probably about the next 30 days we will have requests coming out of our ears the emails the phone calls with people that um, have unexpected litters um, and just overpopulation especially in the southern states mm. so now might be a good time people who are considering this adding a puppy to their family we also know during the winter a lot of people don't adopt or get like, puppies. I'm not going outside. So like, I'm not dealing <laughs> with that um, but right now people who are considering what are some of those things that they can should consider before diving on in yeah one of the things is just to you know a big thing is to make sure you have the time um, so you know a lot that could mean different things to different people and it also means different things depending on how many dogs you have at home um, but make sure you have the time to socialize uh, play with them and really training that first month to two months is vital for their socialization and just for their learning um, and their development. So if you don't want a dog later that you're spending a ton of money on or having behavioral issues even later, um, you need to spend that time that first month or two. So mm -hmm. making sure even if you do work a longer day, a lot of people have concerns. If they work eight hours, can they get a puppy? Yes, you can, but you should make plans for that first month to month and a half to either have someone to stop into your house, a puppy sitter, um, a friend, a family member to help you with let outs and just that socialization. Mm -hmm. You talked about that a little bit right there. Does it matter how old of the, I mean, the puppy range spreads, mm -hmm. right? If you're getting a four month old versus a nine month old, do puppy training classes or those socialization classes? Take it to a brewery. Yes. It doesn't matter. It helps for all of it them. It helps for all of them. Yeah. And if you do get one that's younger, I mean, really, they say it's under like 16 to 18 weeks. There is a prime time socialization period okay. there that they really need. Always, even after that, of course, too, it's important. Um, but if you can bring them to meet other dogs, bring them to meet other people, you do need to be a little bit careful when they're younger. <laughs> <laughs> Just they're, they're, don't socializing. Yeah, they're socializing. This is great for them. They're learning. Yep. They're learning. And that's exactly what you want. You just don't really want to bring them out to like a dog park when they're too young because if they're not fully vaccinated yet they are susceptible to different diseases so you want to make sure they're fully Good vaccinated you know. before you do a lot of the socializing yeah really great advice there might be people out there who are going yes I, I work too much I'm not ready for a puppy but I still want to be around them I still want to help out especially help some of these shelters tell us um, this time of year busy time and you yes. need volunteers yep we need volunteers and I always tell people too if you're testing the waters if you're not totally sure if you're ready for a puppy yet um, you can do we have a foster to adopt program through the rescue so it's kind of like a test drive I guess you could say for <laughs> right. uh, finding out if your family um, or just yourself if you can handle having a puppy yet if you can't you get them adopted mm -hmm. <laughs> and lesson learned that not maybe right now maybe in the future um, but it's a great time and you can save a life that way too so foster to adopt program that's a great way to test to see if you're ready maybe and see the kind of breed you want and I yep. know this has been making the rounds on social media Frenchie is now the most popular dog they've taken over from the lab um, this is a way bigger conversation, but they are known to have genetic issues often. So rescues, 
ironically, have a ton of Frenchies. Do, yes. you, guys, do you see that often? We do, and we see them more when they're a little bit older, when people realize that, oh, wow, I can't take care of them. They do cost thousands of dollars in medical issues and vet bills. Thousands of dollars. Thousands mm -hmm. every year. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, um, it's unfortunate that it's a top breed. They're so cute. I mean, right. you know, they're and adorable. So lovable. They're so lovable, yes. Um, but they do have a lot of health issues, so I don't think people really know what they're getting into. I think they're, you know, getting them because they're adorable. Um, mm -hmm. But then the repercussions are you better you better be prepared to pay a lot of vet bills. And not only that, those dogs, um, it's not fun for them to be right. suffering, you know, when they're not feeling good and they can't breathe well. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully that is not the top breed for a very long time because I do suspect now what will happen is we will see a lot in now in the next decade um, in the rescue and being surrendered. Sure, more people breed them. And kind of to yeah. your point, doing your research about any breed before yep, right. you get a dog because sometimes they do have different um, needs or things that right. you need to be aware of. Like hyperactive or yeah. very chill. Yep, just check in with your <laughs> lifestyle to mm -hmm. make sure that that breed would fit with your lifestyle and the thing with foster too like a foster based rescue uh, there's the benefit there because you can ask the fosters what mm -hmm. are they like right. so if you're looking to adopt you can usually get a little bit more information there and these pups are impressing me I just have they're to so say. cute I'm just sorry. sitting there they're doing a really good job they're like they are, are trees. <laughs> uh, before we go I, I know today is puppy day but you've got a lot of older dogs is that usually a good one if you've got kids or maybe if you have more of a sedentary lifestyle yes. looking at maybe some two and up or what's kind of the good age for yeah that? even one and up I mean if you want to okay. avoid the potty training time um, <laughs> you can yes. definitely get one that is older usually they're potty trained there's always could be a transition period there well they're adjusting but yeah absolutely and there's a lot of older dogs too, um, middle aged and older dogs in the rescue that need homes so definitely if anyone is interested in adopting a puppy or an older dog um, they can check out our website and see who's all available on roughstartrescue.org. Oh, we've Cute. got those good dogs over there giving hey, us this one like Google, like Google I know, Gaga I'm like, eyes. I'm listening, but look at um, that. Yeah, the other one that he's showing right now is actually Huntress. I forgot her name Huntress. earlier. Huntress, yes. And she is hopefully getting adopted, but just in case um, we still bring exposure in case it doesn't work out, but Hopefully it will. Just and we are glad that you do because this is such a treat. This is so fun. So cute. And They're shout so out to cute. photographer Nate. Get right down in right there, there to give us all of those great puppy looks. So cute. Oh my gosh. Give him a home. Yeah, Miller needs to get a home oh. if anyone wants to adopt Miller. So, so cute. Sweet. Okay, we got to go run over there and give those puppies some love. Azure from Rust Start Rescue, thank you so much for being here. To check out adoptable animals and find out more about volunteering, you can visit roughstartrescue.org.